Hey, it's Ryan Mills Presents. We're over here with Jackson Whelan. We're about Hello. to check out his concert. Uh, he's going to be performing tonight at the Salem Commons here at, uh, for Halloween, uh, Haunted Happenings. So um, here to check the vibe. If you feel the vibe, like and subscribe. So Jackson, uh, we got a big track wow. coming out, man. Thought Pollution. That's right, man. November 19th. November 19th. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited, man. I'm so glad you could uh, work on that track. You know, you got so many projects in the catalog, so much on Spotify. I'm just happy to kind of break through that shell and, and, and be a feature in there. Um, you know, creatively, uh, I think you add a lot to that track. Um, yeah, it was so much fun to make the beat, you know, yeah. and, and get everybody's vocals. And yeah, yeah, man. So, um, as far as like other tracks you got, uh, what else is what else is out buzzing right now? Oh man, I just dropped a new track, uh, song and music video called Still Different, which is out. Um, I dropped a no song, um, always working on stuff. I'm actually working on a project with the guys who taught me how to rap. Uh, my buddy Dominic Omega, Carolina Black, and my friend Drum, and that's called Break Bread. It's coming soon. And just always making beats and trying to wake up early and write verses. That's and, it, man. Yeah. I, I, that's 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 why I love your vibe. You know, that's why I'm coming out for vibing is because you know you have so much to offer and in your catalog. There's a there's a whole list of features before we even got into Thought Pollution with all the features on that track. There's there's really incredible features KRS that you've aligned yourself with. Yeah, we with. got KRS One on the From the Woods remix. That's out. And it's, just did the verses uh, with Big Daddy Kane. That was crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy, uh, you know, and they, they don't just do simple features. They're really giving you something great, some really established work that they've, in comparison to their other works throughout history, I mean, it really stands up. Totally. So, yeah, and uh, I want to thank you too, man, for coming to me with the Thought Pollution idea and getting all those MCs well, together. One of the biggest attributes about you and that feature with KRS-One is, you know, for KRS-One, for me, uh, he always said, rap is something you do, hip-hop is something you live. And, you know, that just meant so much to me in that, you know, anybody can rap, anybody can say whatever they want, they can demonstrate what they want, but the power of your words, like how much uh, influence you have over people that are listening. And uh, I think you really, you know, tapped into to what KRS was saying there, and it really comes out in your lyrics, and that's why I really wanted to identify you as such a strong individual within music. Thank um, you, man. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, because, yeah, like, KRS-One changed my life and inspired me and, like, allowed me to look at hip-hop as something I live and also, like, the, the impact of, you know, what you're saying and how that can be used to uplift and inspire people rather than, like, you'd be used for negative purposes or right, violence. I mean, so you know many I mean? people like to reinforce those, those things, consistent stereotypes and things like that that are at play in this world. And, you know, it's great to have some refreshment that, like, there is something else out there and somebody's looking beyond what's already been done. And, um, you know, uh, within, the, within the features that you have, um, do, do they potentially push you to, like, write something stronger? Like, oh, when you're with yeah. KRS or yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, Micah 9 or You know, with KRS-1, like, I, I rewrote my shit mad times because it's, like, out of my comfort zone, you know, working with somebody who I consider to be one of the best to ever do it, you know? So it's, like, that situation really propelled me to, like, really write the the verse and not you know i always try to put out stuff that i feel is finished but like you know finishing the stuff even more and yeah but in continuing past that is it is it influencing like your future writing knowing that krs1 might hear this next track or that mike and i's listening to your next track or like yeah i mean mike I and i's always connecting you know? and, and commenting and, and staying in That's touch so and cool. stuff so i always try to raise the bar with with every track that's you know? so great i'm yeah. really hoping the features will stay in touch with you and uh absolutely can we know? can we tell them who who's on the track who's on the absolutely. thought pollution we can talk about the thought pollution who's on, who's the, on, who's the, thought on pollution? the thought pollution so we got jackson whalen on the beats with uh ian evans and then uh we got ritz from atlanta we got lateb from boston and we got just juice from boston it's gonna be fucking crazy the song is super hard i can't wait for everybody to hear it all their fans everyone's fans of Jackson you know everybody's just gonna converge on this track and it's gonna be really powerful so get ready November 19th November 19th thought pollution thought pollution Ryan out on Mills all platforms presents. baby Jackson Whalen cool. yo thank you really have a great show man thank have a great you so show. much all right man cool hey it's Ryan Mills presents and uh, we're here for vibe in episode three we're down here in downtown Salem Massachusetts it's where I'm from and here to share a little bit about my story with you 
So back in about like late 90s, early 2000, I was uh, really hard into uh, ERS 88.9 at night. They had a really good radio show. And there was a lot of inspirations that I got that I wasn't able to get from commercial radio. And one of those inspirations was Mr. Lift and Acrobatic. They're a hip hop group from Boston, legendary, legendary artists. And uh, they really shined a light on me that people close to me were, were doing amazing things and really um, channeling you know, their, their own power ab ab above what the commercial market was doing. And basically my attention with ERS uh, evolved into a focus for what I could do for the independent artists in the area. And I started to go to live shows. I started to, um, you know, Newberry Comics had a lot of these uh, in-store performances and I saw hieroglyphics and a bunch of other artists and that kind of inspired me more to like get more involved with the local community. Other artists that were like um, Mr. Lift and Acrobatic but not on, on an emerging level or like still growing. And uh, yeah, I got in connected to Project Move and a bun bunch of other artists that you can feature, that you can see on my YouTube. I have a bunch of other artists from, from past years and different people that I captured uh, doing their thing, expressing themselves, building themselves up and helping to engage the community in what's really going on. <clears throat> Something that we referenced uh, with Jackson Whalen is that um, with KRS-One, you know, he said that you know, rap is something you do, hip hop is something you live. And in that, there's just so many people out here that have incredible talent and they're really committed to doing what they do, but how many of those people are really coming together to make it happen? And, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, um, are watching my back and like seeing my moves and seeing what I'm doing. And then there's other people that have got my back. They step up for me when I need to and they have skills and talents. And, you know, we're working together to showcase all the talent we can. And it's one big movement out here. No one's, you know, no one's really better than anyone else. Everyone's competing for the same stages out here. And, um, Basically, everybody needs some love and, and some attention. So that's what I'm here for. Ryan Mills presents. If you're feeling the vibe, like and subscribe. And uh, hope you're feeling this one. Peace. I feel like I'm never gonna come down. Never gonna come down. Ready to flip for some cash I could grip When I saw them lights flashing I knew it was a wrap Highway patrol with the canine in the back Sister my car and I'm getting the rest of the universe Testing me, sending a message But I ain't confessing to more than possessing They taking my weed and they treat it like crap Checking me in and they taking my fingerprints Guilty till proven innocent I was on the edge, I was living it But now it's a cell that I'm sitting in Stuck in jail till I posted bail Then I found my car Now I got my lawyer telling me that I can catch a charge I guess it's just the price you pay when you live in large Now it's even gripping microphones are fixing bars Well you later got the P.O. knocking on my door I ain't slipping up cause I know that's what they want you for But when I go to sleep I'm still having dreams that I've been riding down Moving work all day Just to survive, why do I do this just to give you a vibe? Got my mind on the music and the music on my mind. I'm staying diligent, stepping to the void and I'm feeling it. I've been in my element, killing it since I was a little kid. Keep the message, I'm distilling it, sharpen up my skill a bit. Thrill the kids, cause I'm sticking to the syllabus. But when I was a young boy, anger was my job. But I began to find my purpose, both in ill and by Nas. And overnight, I let the rhymes take hold Start writing from the soul Till I can hold the mic, expose the 